is the nature hike CW280. Hopefully you can see that. That's exposure is killing it. There you go. CW280. It's a down sleeping bag. Uh, it's rating is comfort rating of 51 degrees, 51.8 to be exact. Then you got a transition of 42.8 and a you know survival rating of 17.6. Um, I'll tell you with this thing, it was a hundred, a little over a hundred bucks, uh, right around a hundred bucks. So for a down, a true down sleeping bag, that's really inexpensive. Um, it's kind of small. I don't use it as a sleeping bag. I use it as a quilt because uh, you can open it all the way up. So I use it more like a quilt than I do a sleeping bag. And I've had it down like it was down in the 40s last night. It kept me very warm. It was too warm. I had to take it off a couple of times. So if you were just sleeping in this, like out on the ground in the open, maybe. But if you're using a sleeping pad and you've got tarp tent around you that's helping insulate you some more as well. Um, I would feel comfortable pushing this down to 30 degrees for me personally and i think i'd be fine you know that again is taking in mind all the other stuff i'm going to have with it that i'm utilizing with it but yeah it's it's an inexpensive down sleeping bag i've been using synthetics for a while like I said the only gripes with it is it's a little small i'm five foot eleven uh about 240 pounds so uh I don't fit it. I, I can fit in it, but my shoulder width, uh, getting it up around my shoulders is a little difficult. It doesn't have a hood or anything to go over your, your head. So it really is more of just a quilt that you can zip up into a bag is what I would more call it. And it has the little cinch ties and all this stuff to cinch it up. But you can see kind of just by the rectangular design there, that's the width of it. So you're gonna be pretty crammed up in there if you try to use it as a sleeping bag. So sleeping bag, no an emergency it would work quilt works great as a quilt uh, and then i also typically combine it with this other one this is also down uh, this one i got it's a blanket and it turns into like a poncho this is from that shop gear shopgogear.com uh, it's just a down blanket it doesn't have a temperature rating on it but it keeps me really warm as well and it packs down super small because they're both down so between the two of those, and I think I paid like like 60 bucks for that down blanket. So between the two, it's 160 bucks. I've got two different down quilts essentially in here. One that can turn into a quilt or a blanket. This one can actually turn into a poncho slash jacket to wear around camp and be an extra blanket. So they're very versatile and they pack down super small, way better and more effective than a, a synthetic synthetic sleeping bag. Um, and then usually for my head covering, if it's during the really colder months, I'll have a beanie or ball collar or something like that to cover my head. So I'm not using the hood uh, anyway. But combining those two quilts with my Nemo tensor that I had in there last night, I know I was like I said I was sweating. Uh, and it was in the mid 40s at least. Might have been colder than that. Uh, but I was sweating at certain points. I had to open up. So looking for some inexpensive down gear to get into the down gear thing. The nature hike. I know. Some of their gear is back and forth. People love it, some people hate it. I know they had a crappy tent they just came out with. This does have some down that comes out of it every once in a while. Um, but for the price, it works great. It's a great little quilt. Just, just remember what it is. It's a it's a quilt. It's not really a, a sleeping bag. Unless you're a small frame person, then it would work fine for you as a sleeping bag, I guess. Uh, here's the stuff sack. Comes with a compression sack. So that's my review on that one.